Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Hi, once again, welcome back to channel. Today we are going to see a shear flow of an open section. Shear flow, as I've already discussed, what is mean by shear flow? Now, today we are going to see a shear flow for an unsymmetrical open section. Now, again we are considering a cantilever beam of an any loading system onto it. So, you can see it's a cantilever beam. So, we are going to take a, any loading system. We are going to take a small portion and over the small portion when the loading takes place. So, only two types of shear takes place as we have discussed earlier. So, one is a direct stress, one is a shear stress. So, uh, this is the thickness, the area we can find, what is the cross-sectional area? We can find by means of thickness into ds. So, this is the thickness, t, and uh, the ds. So, here we are going to find of across the surface. So, we are going to take a static equilibrium equation. That is summation of all the forces. So as we have done how we are going to find the summation of all the forces. We are going to follow the same methodology. Now from this here we can find out like we can cancel off the terms and simplify and we can write the equation. Now here, we are going to integrate this term because as the loading takes place, the bending stress vary across the section and whereas the shear stress will remain same across the section. Shear stress will be same. So, it is varying from the bottom to the top. Area is varying. So we can simplify this equation. We can simplify the equation as sigma into ds into dA equals to minus of tau into dA. This dA we can convert as minus tau t into ds. So this ds and this ds can be cancelled off and recalling the definition of Q is tau into T. So we can finally write. So we attend minus Q equals to integral dA do sigma by do S into dA. Now here for an unsymmetrical bending section or for an unsymmetrical section in place of sigma we are going to write the sigma value from the K method y equals to mx i y y plus m y i x y minus of x m x i x y plus m y i x x i x x dot i y y minus i x y whole square now derivation of this k method so on the moment we took in a positive side that is in a clockwise direction and the moment in the y direction we have taken in an anti-clockwise direction so that means says that if we diff we get as do mx by do if we check we get as vy and when we differentiate do m y by do s differentiating we get as minus v x now we are going to substitute this equation in this and we get as minus q equals to and uh, so we can see as let's see it integral t e 
so do mx by do s So we attain this. Now, for the simplification, let's substitute in place of do mx by do s vy, and in place of do my by do s is minus vx, and we get s. what we can do here is minus q let's take the minus common outside and this other common constant take it outside and we can write as Integral of x dA and next we take a minus common here and we can write the x i x y minus v y i y y by i x x i y y minus i x y whole square integral of y dA q equals to v y i x y minus v x i x x by i x i x i y minus i x y whole square integral of x dA plus v x i x y minus v y i y y by i x i y minus i x y whole square integral of y d a now what is mean by d a d a means the thickness into ds ds now let's rewrite the equation as vy i x y minus v x i x x of i x x i y y minus i x y whole square integral x d ds 0 to s and from here we can write as vx i x y minus v y i y y by i x x i y y minus i x y whole square integral y t t s 0 to s this is the final equation of an shear flow for a unsymmetrical section. This is an equation for a shear flow. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.